If we have an object that travels through a fluid, and by fluid it's basically anything which flows, so that could be maybe air or perhaps water, when this object is moving through it, there's going to be a resistive force to its motion. And the reason for this is that in the fluid, perhaps air, there's going to be a load of particles. And as this object moves through that, it's colliding with the particles and they tend to want to slow it down. There are a number of factors that affect this drag force, perhaps the texture and uh, maybe how streamlined the object is, uh, and also maybe the density of the, of the fluid that it's moving through. But the two biggest factors are the area, and it's pretty obvious to see that if you have something which has a larger area, especially at the front, which is going to be colliding with the air particles, it's going to have a greater drag force. The other thing that affects the size of the drag force is the velocity. So if we have a larger velocity, the drag force is going to get bigger as well. But it doesn't just get bigger with this linear relationship. If we have something going at maybe twice the speed, then the drag force goes up by a factor of four. So to conclude, this drag force, which we often call air resistance, if it's in the air, or perhaps water resistance, if it's uh, in the water, uh, is really dependent upon two factors. First of all, the drag force is proportional to the surface area of that object. The bigger the object, the bigger the drag force, and it is also proportional to the velocity of the object squared. So if you double the velocity of the object, the drag force goes up by a factor of four.